Hey guys, Coach Stan here, gonna bring you Monday's workout, uh, day after Easter, so we're looking to burn off some of the stuff we had yesterday. Uh, we're gonna start with a little mobility. Uh, today we're gonna do the pigeon to start, so we'll step into it. Joe, you wanna join me? So we got a minute on one side, then we'll switch, we'll go a minute on the other. Then, the next one is gonna be for the back of those legs to get them ready for the stuff we've got. So, we'll find a spot on the wall, our butt should be right up against it. And we'll hold just like that for two minutes. Get those hamstrings nice and loose. Then today for our strength and for our power, we've got two little supersets, okay? So the first one, uh, we're gonna do Bulgarian split squats. So we'll go up, we'll have our foot on a bench or an ottoman or whatever you've got. Other foot's out in front. And then we'll hold that weight. Again, it can be dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you've got. And we're gonna go 10 all on one side at a regular pace, and then 10 on the other. Once we finish that, we're gonna rest for a full minute, let those legs recharge, and then we've got kneeling jumps, okay? And we're not gonna do these where we jump and then jump onto a box. They're just kneeling jumps today. So here, boom, we'll land, we'll get back down, we'll do it again. We've got five in a row. Now I'll rest for a minute before we start over with the Bulgarian split squats, okay? If you need to modify that, we just do regular long jumps. That'd be just fine, okay? Once we finish our four sets of that, we've got another little super set for strength and power. We're gonna be doing uh, those tempo deadlifts. We did them last week, loved them. They're an awesome surprise. Uh, so again, we'll take the weight in our right hand. We'll go to our left foot. We're gonna take five seconds to go down. So one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five, and then five to come up. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five. We'll do seven all in one, then we'll switch seven all in the other. Once we finish that, we'll rest one minute, let the legs recharge. Then we're gonna do five single leg box jumps on one side and then five on the other. We know what a box jump looks like. I don't need to show that one, but remember when we do this off of the one foot, land on two feet, okay? You gotta be smart about it. Land on the box on two feet. Once you do five on each leg, rest a minute before we start it over, okay? So that's gonna be the strength and the power phase. Then for the workout, our task um, is gonna be 150 single arm thrusters, all right? So single arm thruster, we've got it. We get that full squat, we come up, into that press. All right, so it's 150. You guys can break it up however you want. I mean, if you want to do all 150 on one side, you could. Um, but the little wrinkle is starting at the beginning of the workout, and then every single minute you'll stop and do five lateral burpees over the dumbbell. Okay, so if this is our dumbbell, we hit our burpee, and then up and over. Okay, so you do five of those, and then you start working on your 150 single arm thrusters. Um, you know, when you guys do it, I would definitely try to recommend switching arms so you don't just fatigue one side over the other. Uh, kind of how I'm going to attack it is I'm going to do my first round, be on my right arm, I'll hit my burpees, my next round I'll just go on my left, and that way I don't have to worry too much about keeping track of which arm I just used because I'm going to keep that pattern going until I finish the, the 150, okay? So it should be a good workout, good way to start the week. You guys get after it.